Hello Pokemon Maniacs and welcome back to Spearman Studios. My name is Nicholas Jennings and today we're going to be talking about a very special film by the name of Detective Pikachu directed by L Rob Letterman. Now Rob Letterman up until this point had done Goosebumps which I do admire. It's one of those films I do put in around Halloween time. It's just kind of like a fun campy cheesy type of movie. It's nothing legitimately, like, masterful or anything, but he's managed to create a movie that's based off of something nostalgic that has enough nostalgia while also being its own thing and having some fun. And the same thing can be said here with Detective Pikachu. Now, what is this movie about? Well, it's about Tim Goodman, played by Justice Smith, who has to go to Rhyme City to collect up his dad's belongings because he gets a call one day that his dad has gone, well, he's, he's dead. But then he gets to his father's house and finds a really weird Detective Pikachu. He wears a detective hat, and he drinks a lot of coffee. And the two of them together try to figure out the mystery of where Harry went, uh, that he's gone missing, and, well, do a lot of other different stuff. Now, there's a lot to really praise about this film, but there's also quite a lot of nitpicking that's involved in this film. It's not a perfect film by any means. But I would say it's a very entertaining movie. Uh, it's definitely enter more entertaining than a lot of the video game adaptations we've seen a lot. It's definitely better than a lot of anime adaptations we've seen a lot, like Death Note and like Dragon Ball Evolution. Like this is wholly better than that. And there's multiple reasons why. Firstly, is the creature design. Now you could be like the team at Sonic the Hedgehog and completely screw up the design of a very classic character. But here they've managed to have a equilibrium between realism and the actual designs that they're based off of. So the actual designs for the characters themselves in terms of the character models and how they look, their eyes and everything, they're all there, they just have an added bit of texture, which adds a little bit more believability to this world in terms of live action. And yes, Pikachu is freaking adorable, and he's fluffy, and he's just cute. Just adorable. <laughs> That's all I have to say with that. Uh, the cinematography as well adds to the sense of them actually being there. Uh, and I think they use some film stock for it, I'm not entirely sure. Now, in terms of the story itself, the first 20 minutes are fine. But they're not great. The first 20 minutes is kind of a depressed fest because the franchise had been known for many years to be this sort of hopeful and uplifting movie about uh, believing in oneself and training and becoming the very best that no one ever was. And this one takes a different edge, and that's because, well, it's it's a you know, mystery movie, it's a detective movie, and thusly it needs to have a little bit more of an emotional weight. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of what I thought. The closest comparison I can make to this film that I think is fair is that this is this generation's new Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And there's a lot of similarities with this. Uh, some people are comparing this to Blade Runner. Nah. Mm -mm. No, this is closest to Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Because, A, you have a main character who doesn't like the other characters characters in the universe so in the original you have uh, the detective Harry Hart um, pretty much not liking any tunes and then in this one you have Tim Goodman not liking Pokemon he doesn't have a partner in this movie uh, and that's that's the whole thing with with him you know it's set in a fictional universe with cartoon characters uh, you have a you have a mystery on on their hands granted the mystery is different in both cases, um, but it's very similar in terms of execution because I do feel like there's a lot of corniness, there's a lot of cheesiness, uh, the villain's plainly obvious in both of them, um, but it doesn't really detract from the fact that they're entertaining films in their own ways. Um, and even the way they manage to integrate animation CG characters into live action also, you know, is apparent, and it's not necessarily bad. Um, but this film does have its fair share of problems. I think that there's a lot of points in this film where there's a lot of coincidences that kind of detract from, 
you know, the the narrative flow of the piece. There's just a lot of coincidences, whatever, one after the other. Oh, that's coincidental that that's there. Oh, oh, that's that's coincidental that you know this character's here or this character's there. That's very coincidental. There's a lot of that in this movie. Uh, there's also this female reporter in this one, and I can't remember the actress who played her name, but she gives probably the the most corniest performance in this entire thing, because she's all like, I got a scoop, I'm gonna find this, this thing, I'm gonna break the news, I'm gonna do all that, and that's exactly the same energy as, as, as she gives into it, it's hilarious, for one thing, to, to see that, um, and then you get to the heart of the story, which is Tim Goodman's journey, which isn't necessarily a journey. It's kind of paper thin in terms of narrative plot. Um, Justice Smith is okay as the character. He didn't really give me any tears. Uh, some people apparently were tearing up because of the situation he was in. But the first 20 minutes, I'm like, okay, this is uh, this is a bit, you know, depressing. Come on. Uh, but... You know, and, and as everyone has been saying, yes, Ryan Reynolds is the best part of this movie. He is hilarious, he's funny, he's a great voice actor, and actor as well. Um, you know, the way that they brought this Pikachu to life, as well as the other Pokemon in this film, is tremendous. Um, I also like, uh, like his character. He's fine. He's really cool. Uh, all in all, I think Detective Pikachu may not be, like, the best, like, mystery movie, because in terms of how this mystery really goes, I could kind of tell where it was going, so it just comes off as, you know, baby's first, you know, detective movie, which isn't necessarily bad, because Who Framed Roger Rabbit is also in that same boat, but in both cases, they're still entertaining for kids and adults. There's some fun stuff in them that you could really gravitate towards. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, would would I recommend it? Yeah, obviously. I'm I'm kind of part I'm kind of biased in this case cuz, you know, I'm a Pokemon fan. Um, but as a movie itself, it's still entertaining even if you don't know anything about Pokemon. It, it does kind of enough to introduce you to this world. Um, but if they ever do another Pokemon movie, I kind of want to see a movie where, you know, we see an actual trainer's journey. Focus on, like, th the battles, because that was, that was one of the things that kept, uh, people interested in the anime, especially in the early years with the Indigo League, is the Pokemon battles, and the journeys that certain trainers take. And you don't necessarily have to adapt Ash Ketchum, you could create a brand new tra uh, trainer, you know, with new actors that have never been seen before, you know, you could do that, you know, um, you know, I, I think that would be a really cool, um, sequel idea if you want to do it, that's, ha that's at least what I would th think, at least, so what am I, what am I going to give Detective Pikachu, well, I'm going to give Detective Pikachu a C plus, yeah, it's a pretty good movie, and does it totally deplete the video game curse or the anime adaptation curse? Not entirely, but it's still good. Like, I'd still recommend it. So that's all I have to say about Detective Pikachu. See you next time. Peace.